Hi everyone, it's Justin from the Nerdy Loft YouTube channel, uh, back with another Magic the Gathering video. Uh, this time, I'm going to be looking at this Super Beanstalks deck that I put together a little while ago now. Um, it's it's a pretty fun deck to play. Um, it's uh, set up for best of three, uh, with a, a pretty decent sideboard. Uh, the whole idea of the deck originally was to uh, basically get like it's a pretty it's a jank Salazania deck, so it's uh, really designed to get um, uh, Beanstalk Giants out as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh, Beanstalk Giants, pretty costly creature. Um, it's a giant creature. Um, has a sorcery adventure called Fertile Footsteps, which lets us get uh, lands out, uh, basic lands. Um, and that's a three mana cost. Uh, the Beanstalk Giant itself is a 7 mana cost, so it takes some time to get it out, but I try to get it out quicker uh, through a number of ways. Um, Circuitous Route lets us search up to two basic lands, uh, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle our library. Uh, Growth Spirals let us get an additional land card out. Um, if we've got it in our hand. So we can draw a card, we can put the land from our hand onto the battlefield. Paradise Druids gives us uh, additional mana of any color. So that really comes in handy to help us ramp. Uh, Fay of Wishes is uh, really cool when you need it. Um, it'll, uh, so it's a one four flyer for two. It's pretty good. Um, it's got a four mana cost sorcery adventure, which lets us choose a non-creature card we own from outside of the game, meaning in our sideboard, we can reveal it and put it into our hand. So that lets us search for things like ops, uh, shocks, negates. Uh, radical idea is um, uh, really useful to just get us additional card draw. Um, we can play it again from our graveyard with Jumpstart. Um, I've got a Lucky Clover in here. Um, if we draw a pretty heavy adventure hand, uh, may, maybe the Love, Love Struck Beast, Brazen Borrower, Fairy of Wishes, Beanstalk Giant. We can get our Beanstalk Giants out even further if we get Lucky Clover out, play Fertile Footsteps and make a copy of that so we can search for two basic lands. Um, I've added four questing beasts to the sideboard as well, uh, just to help us deal with any planeswalkers or anything else that is going to get in our way. Um, if you're not familiar with questing beasts, it's an amazing creature. Uh, it's a 4-4 four, 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 four with vigilance, death touch, and haste. Um, and the damage that it deals, uh, deals it to planeswalkers as well. So it's pretty great. Edgewell Innkeeper, uh, helps us with the, the continual card draw to make sure we don't run out of steam. Um, so whenever we cast a creature spell that has an adventure, we draw a card. We've got a few adventure creatures here. Um, last one we haven't really covered off is the Bone Crusher Giant. So um, that just basically replaces Shock in the main board. Um, we can play a Stomp for two. Um, we then get a pretty decent 4-3 for three out. Um, after that as well, so uh, that's the deck. Uh, Great Henge uh, really just, um, you know, obviously helps us gain life. Um, we can buff our creatures as they come out, uh, all that good stuff. So that's the deck. Uh, let's have fun with it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so. Um, like the video, really helps us uh, heaps. Let's go play with it. Okay, so opening hand, uh, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, let's run. Let's run with it. We've got a fabled passage to get us uh, some other basic lands if we need. Green and red mana sources off the bat. Uh, so let's start with the edge wall innkeeper. Maybe we can go. Turn two, Bone Crusher, depending on what they get out. 
is it worth stomping that? Um, otherwise, love struck beast. Let's go search for um, a blue. Uh, yeah, another green. Let's get the blue out. There's only one blue mana source in this deck. Uh, one basic blue land. Otherwise, we're playing with uh, dual lands. So. <clears throat> There's not a lot of um, blue in the in the deck, other than Fey of Wishes and um, Brazen Borrower. So we're going to Bone Crush the Pixie. Okay. Vivian there on five. Uh, we should be able to just swing in for two here. Make use of these one ones. So it gets her down to three. So <clears throat> turn three. Play the land, and we'll probably play Bone Crusher or, or Lovestruck Beast. That's a decent 5-5 five, five action. We'll get the card draw from the Edge Wall Keeper as well. Counters it. Always, always fun. Sinister Sabotage. That's, that's a pretty good card. So it's Jank Selesnio versus some kind of Simic deck. Haven't seen any creatures yet. We've got a Vivian. Voracious Hydra, okay. Not bad. Definitely helps him out. Punisher 46001. Uh, let's play that forest and play the Bone Crusher Giant to provide a bit of trade off with the Hydra if we need it. That Hydra is a 3 4 with uh, Trample, so it's, um, it's going to be a problem if we can't deal with it soon enough. If he can buff that, it's going to be a problem. So, Wilderness Reclamation. We can untap all the lands. It's a very useful card. Uh, so, we've got a 5 drop on the Great Henge. If we get the Beanstalk Giant out, that'll drop it down to like a 2. We're going to go look for something in the Something outside the game, and we're going to get Field Mystic, of course. Wouldn't be a Simic deck without Field Mystic. We'll go look for a, another green. Mm. See if we can bait out the Hydra. I want to trade with the Hydra to get rid of that. Uh, Fae of Wishes is going to get the one damage in to take Vivian down to three. I think that's all we need. Yep. Okay. Mm, yeah. The ooze, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, alright. Got to deal with those pretty quickly. 
get fertile footsteps out for another land. So that's one, two, three, five, six, that's seven lands. That gets us Beanstalk Giant next turn. This turn we could probably, we should probably go Lovestruck Beast, uh, Heart's Desire, Lovestruck Beast. Those oozes are just going to keep coming. Uh, we don't really have a good answer right now for them. We've got chump blockers with the humans. That means the lovestruck beast isn't going to be able to attack. But um, Vivian's on one. Yeah, all right. It's vigilance. Creates another goo token. It's just setting up his board state. Ready to roll me. Let's go Beanstalk Giant. Too bad the Edgewall Innkeeper's gone. Could use that card draw right, right about now. But that's okay. Spend all our mana on this 7-7 seven, seven Beanstalk Giant. That should provide sub-pressure. Nightpack Ambusher comes out. Alrighty. So the opponent's down to one card. Two loyalty counters on Vivian. We're just going to sit tight here. We need all the blockers we can get right now, so... We're just going to have to... We're going to have to wait it out. And these oozes just keep coming. We, we need... This, this deck needs some kind of board wipe. We don't have it. Uh, we probably should though, because the whole, it's a slow deck, the whole idea is get beanstalks out as quickly as possible and do what you can in the meantime. But if we don't have a good way of clearing boards, uh, yeah, we're going to get run down like this. It's just going to be kind of stalemate for a while. We've got a second Great Henge. So, I always forget to, uh, well, if I don't use the Great Henge, I, I don't get the life gain. So, I've always just got to get into this habit of tapping the Great Henge for life if we're not going to... If we're not going to use it in that turn. So, Fae of Wishes isn't a viable blocker for any of that, unless we want to chump block. Well, it can block the three threes. So, yeah. These Uzi guys are going to take the brunt of that. Um, just kind of getting a bit bored... I had to do something. He's going to overrun us now. Give him the good game. Come on. I'll chump block some fives. That's still four, seven. That's ten damage coming in. And we're done. We can scry and see what we get. Oh, God. Yeah, we're done. I was struck beast. Uh, that's not enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's get rid of rid of circuitous routes. Get rid of uh, growth spiral. Put some questing beast in. Do 
you want to get rid of get rid of the other growth spirals and put some negates in? Um, what about yeah, some card draw with an opt? Sideboarding. Let's see, um, see what we can do this game. Onto the card draw. What do we get? Uh, that doesn't look too bad. It's it's a pretty slow opener, but we've got a negate. Oh god, we've got a negate if we need it. So there's that. Takes the shock land to go the growth spiral, gets his third land out, pretty good. We'll go a mountain. Mm, yep, love struck beasts. Turn three. So turn four, we'll be swinging for six if he doesn't do anything else. Play lion. Um. I can bounce that ley line back. Paradise Druid will help us pay for some stuff. And that gets counted. Alright. Hey, at least the Frilled Mystic is uh, now on the board. Don't have to deal with another one, maybe? Just don't know. We don't know. Alright, so the Frilled Mystic's gone. Gets the Ley Line back out. We'll counter that. Don't really want that getting in our way. Questing Beast, yeah. Let's just roll with that. Let's just get this game over with as quickly as possible. And they scouted it with the Frilled Mystic. Okay, well, two cards left in his hand. How many more Frilled Mystics is he going to have? It's just biding time. Plenty of lands, not playing much though. Let's just go Great Henge. Okay, negates that one. We've got another one. 
Almost there. What's it gonna be? Hydra, yep. <clears throat> Go Fay of Wishes and. I don't have anything in a sideboard worth bringing in though. Can't pay for it anyway. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six lands. If I can pull the seventh land, we can get the Beanstalk Giant out. But that's five. We're just going to block that. We don't want that. No, oh, well, there's going to be four coming in to us. But I want to soak up as much of that damage as we can. Fay Wishes. Paradise Druid lands. That gets us the seventh land mana source that we need. Let's just take that. We can go Beanstalk, Great Henge. We can go Edge Wall for the card draw. Brazen. Yeah, all right, we'll take that. We're just going to have to take it. That's nine. So we're nearly at the end of the road here. Oh, he gives up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's one apiece. Game three. We've got Witching Wells. Not bad for the initial scries, and then we can sack them into the later part of the game for a card draw. Just put more ops in. Alright, it's a mirror matchup with Garrick versus Garrick. Okay, pretty light on the mana sources here, not sure if we're going to be able to do much with this. I mean, we've got the edge wall innkeeper, we can play, um, but we don't have a green mana source to play that, so we're going to, we're going to have to mulligan this. I mean, we can play negates on turn two with a island and mountain, but... There's just nothing in that. I mean, we can bring a shock in or something with Faye, but it's pointless. Alright, well, this is a little bit better. Two green sources and a red source. 
three green sources and a red source. So we've got the red source for Bone Crusher Giant. Um, Heart's Desire. concedes okay all right well there you go that'll that'll about do it uh thanks everyone for watching uh subscribe if you haven't already uh, and i'll see you in the next video